So with the, the girl that I was dating in Dallas for a little bit, yeah, she set the standard for the next you know, relationship. I believe the biggest reason why um, I'm so single is it's easy to just be stuck in negativity. You look like an F-boy, but inside you're a certified lover boy. Back in the gym. We're a little bit late today, but it's all good. We're gonna get a good workout in. I was battling myself this morning to get up. <laughs> you know, I pressed the snooze button like a few times and I was like, fuck it. Let's get up. Made a commitment. Didn't want to be a little bitch and made it happen. I chose to do the hard, hard thing first, get out of the way. I feel good about it later during the day. Most people say they are committed, but how many times are people gonna flake? How many times are people gonna not do what they're gonna do? When I say I'm committed to doing two videos a week, I'm gonna commit to it. It's easy to give up, right? It's easy to give up, especially when it's raining outside, it's cold. You know, I got that heater running, and it's easy for me to just stay at home, sleep in for another hour. But when I'm up, I'm up. And when you're up, you might as well do something about it. So, another day, gonna be another quick workout. You know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, trying to get out by 6.30. I'll show you the time, actually, just to show you what time it is. You know, we're a little late. 548 right now but we're in we're in it so I'm gonna do a little bit of mobility get my shoulders going a little bit sore did a heavy day of weights yesterday shoulder raises incline press heavy back day and uh, we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna do some full body keep it simple oh one more thing is you know the reason why I'm here today is Saturday and Sunday, the gym opens late. They open at eight. So if I skip today, I'm gonna have three rest days. So I was like, you know what? Let's get a workout in this morning, get out of the way, and then rest and sleep in on Saturday and Sunday. And what I mean by sleep in is I'm still gonna wake up at you know, 5, 30, 6 a.m., get up, edit videos, get some work done, and you know, Keep that same routine. Once you're in the habit of doing something for so long, you're gonna get adapted. You're gonna adapt to, you know, the conditioning. So the first week of waking up at 5 a.m. is hard. But once you do it over and over and over again, because of routine, it becomes a habit. It's just like brushing your teeth. It's not, it's not easy. We don't wanna do it. We have to, it's necessary. We're gonna get, we're gonna get it in. So I'm thinking today, it's gonna be very simple. Same programming, you know, full body, mostly upper body and abs. We're gonna do some rear delt flies. Focus on shoulders again. Starting that off, cause that's my weak point. And then work our way down from shoulders, chest, back arms today and, and some abs. Morning, how are you doing? Oh, she's good, she's good. Okay, 5.53, we're gonna finish shoulders by six. We're gonna do some rear, rear delt flies and try to go to failure. doing these rather than doing the face pulls or using any weights because it helps me focus on just the form and I still get a really good pump from using my body weight so I 
love doing this, but I hate doing this. The pump is unreal. Like I've been stuck on the, around the same rep range for the longest time, so what I'm doing is going from a T pose, and then once I'm fatigued, I go, you know, reduce the intensity, move my, move my feet backwards, so I'm more sh straight, and I pull straight across. Machine, but we're gonna do some rows. Um, I like to do cables just so I can get a better squeeze in my back. And it works on, you know, imbalances. <sighs> Man, and LA Fitness, their machines are doo doo. This one's all bent up, kind of hurts my hands, and but we're gonna work with it. It still works. That's why I'm using straps. Um, if you're working back, get some straps. Changes of the game. I used to wear straps back in the day. I don't know why I stopped. I think it was just annoying, but I think it's badass. It's easier to work on your back and get more of a pump versus working on your, you know, your grip and worrying about your biceps going in. So this takes everything out and just focuses on your back. So we're gonna do heavy rows resets, try and hit failure, and then do some partials. So far, making good time. 6.05. All right, moving on to some chest flies. Love this exercise. I do is try and get a good squeeze and do some partials at the end. So I can't really do a full stretch because my chest hurts, but I'm gonna do my best to do a stretch. Too light. I was getting like lost count of reps, probably over 12 reps, so I'm gonna go a little bit heavier. So I got a question last night. Why do you think you're so single? So I'll just give you a backstory of you know my journey, give you some context. It's, I've been single for the last nine years, up until recently. Recently I mean July, August area. I've been single for nine years, and within the, those nine years, I've been focusing on myself, building the business, building mental toughness, and building my identity, you know, doing the things that I needed to do to become successful. So work on mentorship, focusing all my time into the business, coaching, and that takes a lot of mental capacity, right? And I didn't feel financially capable of going on dates either. Fast forward to, you know, 2021, 2022, 
you know, even this year, I mean, this year alone, I've gone on more dates in my lifetime than ever before. You know, I was going on, you know, one date a year. I barely even got matches on, on, on any dating apps until recently, and it's been blowing up. So now I've been able to go on more dates per week. At one point, I was doing like one to two dates per week. And that was only first dates, right? I haven't really had too many second dates or third dates, just because I'm not interested. The biggest thing of why I'm single is happy to say. reason why um, I'm so single is I haven't found someone that I could vibe with and fits all my criteria for you know a girlfriend and it's tough in Seattle because a lot of women are very closed off they don't want to open up they assume that you're gonna sell them on something right and that we have our own agenda. So dating in Seattle is very hard. Finding quality women in Seattle is, I wouldn't say the hardest, but getting over that wall and that barrier of entry is very difficult. Versus going to Dallas, New York, bro, it's easy. And what I mean easy is, it's easy to talk to women in those areas and have a conversation going. Here, you're, you're just trying to force yourself to have conversations and force yourself to you know, impress them. Dallas, I mean, you still have to do some courtship. You still have to show that you're, you're an awesome dude and you have a cool lifestyle, but you don't have to flex that hard. So to answer the question is why I'm so single is, one, it's hard to find great quality women that I wanna be around. Two is, Finding women that are also attracted to me is huge. And I was recently in a relationship not too long ago in September, and that was amazing, right? She set the baseline for everything. Once I hit almost close to failure on the fly, so I go into a press and just squeeze as hard as I can. Just get that chest pump. So feeling good. Running out of time. We're gonna do some some arms, superset it, and then do some abs. I need to buy some hash runs, because I forgot. But okay, we're gonna work on some triceps. Been loving these recently. Just do a cross body pull down. I was dating in Dallas for a little bit. Yeah, she sets a standard for the next, you know, relationship. She had all the qualities that I wanted in a woman. And the most important thing that I found attractive was she really liked me a lot. And that's something that is very rare to have. And when someone is attracted to you, 
and respects you, it changes the game. I felt like I was wanted. I felt like I needed need to push myself to be somebody else I wasn't. And I could be my goofy self, could be who I want to be. And she respects me, she, she understands me, and was a support system. But unfortunately, you know, didn't work out. Timing wasn't right. Um, the distance, I mean, she was in Dallas. And man, um, we had good memories. You know, it's a very short-lived relationship, only a month, but it was so impactful, it was something I needed. And, you know, one of the biggest flaws that I have is I was future pacing too far, right? When we have someone who we like, we adore, we just think about the future and what the future holds. So the biggest lesson that I've learned is to slow down, control the pace, you know, you know, follow her lead in terms of how comfortable she is for meeting the family, meeting friends, going out, you know? So it's a good time. If you want like the full detail, you know, what made her a quality person, let me know. And, and she was a quality person, man. She was probably like one of the most ideal girls I've, I've met. once again but these vlogs have been fun and uh i'll explain to you you know the story of you know my relationship and what i've learned um because i'm a certified nice guy and i think it'd be valuable to share you know my mindset shift on how i change from being a nice guy to being who i am but still being authentic and you know some people see me as an f boy uh one of my friends I reconnected she said I'm like a tease right like you look like an F boy but inside you're a certified lover boy but um yeah we can get into the details about that later but I hope you guys like the video I hope you like like this series uh, I've been really enjoying it and just reflecting talking about my my day and what I'm going through because it's not easy you know what I mean everybody's going through their own journey and every day it, it's a battle right it's easy to just be stuck in negativity but it's hard but rewarding to stay as positive as possible that's something i'm working on um and you know it's it's something that we're all going through right and life is not easy so i hope you guys like the video and uh the boss boy out